Thank you, Coach. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glen. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same Okay, so when I die, I ain't gon' be from old age Somebody gon' want revenge, somebody might want it now Right pocket got euros, left pocket got pow Somebody gon' want revenge, somebody might want it now Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown Step back, let me get some room, congrats every time I'm through Same packet, nobody knew, so I never get confused Hotel, get a bird's eye view. Hotel, get a waiting room. Read a magazine while you wait for me. Baby, y'all be done so soon. soon. Phone gotta be off each store. Got locks, I got some trusted shoes. Okay. 10K on the countertop, don't look so shocked. It's nothing new. Okay. Death comes in threes. Three. Winds come in twos. Two. Cash comes in ones. One. Throw it up, celebrate some news. Hey. I do a good job. Pull up and pop out and pull out. True. Hat on and hood on. Pedal to metal. When I put my foot on, I got to put on. I got a bad one. They want to keep me. Oh, that's a good one. Pockets are dense. I think my bread is hard as a crouton. Receipts in my pocket don't come with a coupon. Hey, yeah. Okay. 30,000 in the pocket. No change. Okay. I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay. All my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay. So when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros. Euro. Left pocket got pounds. Somebody gon' want revenge, somebody might win it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left, touchdown. Touchdown, A floor, come down, hotel, lobby. Receptionist, what now? 11 a.m., check out, might give her one foul, just to tell her it's one now. How come I need 
rest, no recess on my schedule. Right. Mama used to serve vegetables, now half the meals got tentacles. Right. Half the Emirates need a reservation, and half my money goes straight to taxes. But I don't trip about it, that's what happens when you got dreams closer than a match. And plus, all your boys got expensive habits. Go. I know what they think, they don't even gotta say it. No, nope. they thinking they just made it. I know how to make everybody feel famous. famous. I don't gotta work no day shift. day shift. I don't gotta split no payment. payment. I don't gotta answer questions. Right. And I don't need you to okay hey. it. Yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now, right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pounds. Pound. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Rams and the Arizona Cardinals. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. On second down, here's Murray. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Throwing is Murray on third down. Flushed out right. And able to find Kirk complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A little glimpse of his athleticism there and what they're going to have to deal with. He can use his legs to dance around back behind the line of scrimmage and beyond the line of scrimmage. And wouldn't you love to get a copy of their defensive scouting report going into the week? Because that's been stressed the whole time. Keep him bottled up. Keep him in the pocket. But it's the first drive of the game and emotions are running high. Someone forgot that, trying to make a big play and gave up a bigger one instead. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Fake handoff to Johnson. Now here's Murray. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Heavy on the edges, heavy on the edges. 
They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. the first carry now for Todd Gurley and he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11 he'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader and quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration don't you I agree totally I mean he's leading the league in rushing and let's face it partner the running back renaissance in the NFL it's real and it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Gotta give him strong consideration for MVP talk. Now on second down, this is Gurley. 23 yards to pick up there. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. find his target woods it's complete and he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out that's now a pair of explosive plays in succession both north of 20 yards so in the cardinal territory now it's first and 10 at the 44 yard line on first down it's Gurley. he's tackled a yard short of the marker good gain of nine on first down he was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity. With under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The linebacker, Jordan Hicks, flying in there for the sack. And Charles, part of the reason they lost last week, they didn't have a single sack. Well, they changed that quickly. Or did they ever? And it was something they talked about with us extensively. They needed to get pressure. How were they going to get to the quarterback? Obviously, they schemed themselves into a great play, didn't it? And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing? often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3 nothing. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason. What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every David Johnson on his way past the 20. Touchdown, Cardinals. David Johnson. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. Remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench. A little oxygen if he wants it as well. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Flush to his right. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it second and seven. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. play this time they double it and pick up six and there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon they'll try and pick up the first with Gurley and this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open.
Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. no call and it's third down even without a ton of pressure in his face it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense those guys are sitting back and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball after an incomplete pass on second down that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Mike's by four, Mike's by four, Mike's by four. Hey, pick your game up. Mike's 54, Mike's 54. From the gun on third down, Murray. Escaping the pressure right. Open man is Kirk, complete. And way up past the 35 before he... Taken down. It's a gain of 22 yards. And the Cardinals first down. First and 10 at the 36 yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. You got nothing. 36, 36. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Down at 
So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. First down, Murray. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing. on the play back at the 46. Brings up second and 11 at the Rams 46 yard line. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Second down, Murray sets to throw. This complete to the tight end play. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We got double up, double up. Yeah, yeah. They'll run with Darquan. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Watch the twist, watch the twist. On the run, Darkwa. And the Rams defense gets to him again behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. All right, coming up at intermission. Charles, you want to wait to enhance your Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside and have to take us through the weekend in the Let's NFL. Go. Motion, 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 motion. Mike's by four. Mike's by four. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. <laughs> Murray with a third and long. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They went with the dime look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Go. 
The last run got six. Now second and four. Gone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's gone. And Woods has it complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. I know you're trying not to scoreboard watch, but you only got three points. You're kind of hoping that that type of play there gives you some positive momentum going into the half. Yeah, I need to do something to get more than that three number that they have on the scoreboard right now. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From the 50, it's gone. And that'll be caught by Cup. The 20. A big play there just before halftime. 47 yards. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Super 66. My shot. Hey, box drop, box drop. 23 the mic. Watch the screen. Pass. Mike's 43. Mike's 43. Let's go, D. Turbo, turbo. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick here is good. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one taken from the seventh. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. 
Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Another carry down for Gurley. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava's has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. 43 is the mic, 43. Hey, Alpha. Check, check, 43. Here we go, here we go. 43 is the mic. 43 is the mic. Now a first down throw. Gone. And his throw here is incomplete. The intended receiver, Josh Reynolds. That'll bring up second down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle someone. On the carry is Henderson. Jordan Jenkins there on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Hey, Wahoo! That's going to set him back five yards. Second down is gone. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. He can't hang. Third and long. It's gone. And that is incomplete. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there work on positioning the football and helping their team. 50, 50, 
50's a mic, 50's a mic. And the catch made by Johnson. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Throwing on second and eight. Murray eluding the pressure right. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Well, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle? Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check. One. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Check 50. Check 50. Maverick, Maverick. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 33 and a first. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. Let's go, folks. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Four now. Check 89. Four Bravo. Banjo, 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 banjo. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Hey, hey. Where was Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. Back to throw. Gone. Complete. 
Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. From the gun on third down, gone. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. 53 to Mike, 53, check 53. Hey, five. Check 53. Check 53. The Rams going for it on fourth. Gone. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. get another shot on offense following that pick six and now the kick is away this is taken about seven yards deep and no thought to bring this one out he'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25 set to begin their next drive the rams offense at the line they'll try and start the drive with Gurley. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. On second and two, Goff. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Hassan Reddick leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. The Rams on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight. throw there going to be incomplete you can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively several on the sideline motioning hey why not a penalty why not a penalty I, what did you see yeah i think you've got to let them play and the officials are instructed if there's contact coming from both sides no flag let them fight it out and forces fourth down And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. And let's get some penetration here. Let's get some penetration. 53 to Mike. Now you won. 
Here we go on four. Gone. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Emmanuel Agba. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight right there. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Here's Darquan. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. On second and 11 now. Murray. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And Gonzalez puts this one through. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And on that last drive... Went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. The Rams on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. Here it's third and two. Gurley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 12, 10, I 7, check, check, 43. On first down, gone. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Here's Gaw. They'll find Everett there. Complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Goff now 10 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. Back to the ground game here, Gurley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid, too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship, too, in the NFL. They're getting paid, too, with the day he's had. You can have one go in the wrong direction. Now Gurley. And he's got some spec. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. 
Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. They'll run again now with Darquan. Nine yards on the game there, and it's going to bring up a tough third and seven. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because... We've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this from 46. And this one is right down Broadway. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for the Cards, the win gets them to 5-9 and nine now on the year, and they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, they drop their 10th game now to fall to 4-10. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.